hello and welcome to signal driving school youtube channel my name is chris and i'm one of the driving instructor at signal driving school if you are new here please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when we release new videos in this video i'm going to be driving around to wong driving test center area and um, i'll be talking you through what i'm doing and hopefully that will help you out if you are doing a driving test soon i'll be using an automatic transmission so maybe in the future we will do another video when we do uh, this same thing in a manual transmission all right so let's let's begin the first thing that you need to do when you doing a driving test you obviously need to arrive on time so you need to actually park inside the car park there's a car park in the basement area so you go and park the car there and once you park the car you go to the office to register if you want to know more about what happens on the day of your driving test one of our um, other video where we talk about what happened on the day of your driving test and we talk about what to do when you arrive at the center and how long the test will last and things like that so today's video is mainly just me driving around showing you around so it's not men it's i'm not gonna be talking about what you're supposed to do on the on your driving test um so obviously also there is a lot of routes that the examiner can cover in Tuong. so i'm not saying that this is the only set route that the examiner can cover there may be like a lot of other routes that they can go to but this is a potential driving test route all right so once you arrive you park the car inside the basement area the examiner comes to the vehicle they check your indicators and the brake lights and they, to make sure they work unfortunately if one of them if the indicator is not working or if the brake light is not working they're not going to take you out for the test so make sure you check them before you actually come to the driving test but if you you're using a driving school car probably the instructor will have checked that for you so you don't have to worry about that and then the examiner once they check everything they come inside the car they check they ask you some questions about the car so for example they can ask you to turn on the lights they can ask you to turn on the hazard lights they can say um um, turn on the windscreen wipers again if you you are more interested in knowing all of those things you can watch one of our other video where i actually talk about the things that they ask you the a list of questions that they can ask you um, about the car so mainly the car controls if you've done your driving lessons you shouldn't really have to worry too much about this because your instructor should have showed you how to do them and then so i'm um, pretty much that's it so they normally ask you two questions then the examiner will say when you're ready you can go so obviously again you'll be coming from the basement area which is to my left uh, but because today is the basement area is closed i'm not gonna go inside so i'm just gonna start outside and then once you're ready you obviously gonna put the car in drive check around um, i see there's a car in the blind spot so i'm just gonna wait it's going so i'm just gonna apply my right signal do my shoulder check on the left check on my mirrors shoulder check and then i move so once you are here usually the examiner might ask you to turn left at the traffic lights which is what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna indicate left check my mirror sometimes there are cars parked in this area so you need to be a little bit careful once i turn at these traffic lights i'm gonna go into the left into the right hand side lane so not into the left lane into the hand into the right hand side lane and then now we are coming to another set of traffic lights so i'm going to be going right so put on my right signal also check my right side mirror then i stop nicely making sure i'm i'm not too close to that car in front of me so check my rear view mirror once i'm when i'm braking so I'm waiting for this light to change, but I'm actually scanning around, trying to see what's happening around. So the light has changed. It's green, but there's no green arrow. So I'm gonna move in the center and wait, wait for a gap, waiting for a safe gap. So a lot of cars coming, so I'm just gonna keep waiting. Just gonna wait until there's a nice safe gap. Okay, so it's a safe to go, so I can turn. 
Once I turn into the new street, there's a speed limit of 50 kilometers per hour. So I need to just watch my speed, check my mirror. So at the moment, just doing 50, making sure I don't go over the limit. Every now and then have a glance at my mirrors. I see there is a pedestrian crossing ahead, so I need to be a little bit careful because there could be a pedestrian. So just checking left and right. There is someone, but they're not crossing, so I can proceed. I'm gonna go right at this intersection here, checking my right side mirror and my rear view mirror looks good. So I turn. Then here I've turned into this street. I didn't see any speed limit, so I'm actually going to assume it's 50 until I see another sign. I'm going to turn right at this road here, this street coming up, put on my right signal. There is no oncoming traffic, so I slow down nicely, and then I turn right. Once I turn right, the first thing I notice, there is a speed limit of 60 kilometers per hour. So I can speed up a little bit, get close to 60, but don't exceed. So if, you do, if you're doing like 57, 58, that's fine. Checking my mirrors as well every now and then. Now here, what's happening here, there is a roundabout coming up. And sometimes the examiner can ask you to go straight. So if we are going straight, the first thing that you notice here is there is a lot of keep clear signs and so I'm just gonna slow down and also I need to use the left hand side lane because the right lane only turn right. So come here. Sometimes that traffic light is on as well, so you have to be careful. So checking. So this is the Tuong roundabout. So making sure that there is a gap because there's a lot of cars coming at the moment. I'll have to just wait. Okay, seems busy today, so that's fine. I can just wait. So there is a gap there, so I'm just gonna take it. Now it's important once you get a gap to take it as soon as you can. Left indicator to exit. Once I exit, make sure my indicator is off. Check my rear view mirror. There's a car behind, that's okay. So speeding up, I see there is a 60 kilometers per hour sign. Also, there was a left lane there that merged into this one. So I did check my mirror there. It's important that you check your mirror there as well. Uh, now going here, I see that there is, there is, um, I'm going to be going downhill. So I need to be a little bit careful with my speed because if I, if I go fast, I may ex exceed the speed limit. So once I break or so, I kind of like check my rear view mirror. Then here there's a lot of signs coming up, so I'm probably just gonna slow down because there is a blind spot. And then it says 30 kilometers per hour, but that's a recommended speed, but I'm still gonna slow down and get close to 30. So that's a recommended speed. Most of, most of the time, if you are not going too fast, the examiner will be okay, even if you're doing a little bit over. And then here I see there is a roundabout coming up. So I'm going to turn right at this roundabout and I'm gonna be taking the fourth exit. So I put on my right signal, make sure I'm in the right hand side lane and make sure there is a nice safe gap. Okay, so I can enter the roundabout. So once I, I count the exit, so this is my third exit, so I keep going around, and this is the fourth exit coming up. Put on a left indicator, check the left-hand side as well. It's important that you check that left-hand side because sometimes 
they may be cars and then the speed limit is 50 so I, I check my mirrors as well so here it's a little bit downhill so I need to be a little bit careful that I don't exceed the speed limit checking my mirrors so looking around there's a lot of cars parked on the side so sometimes doors can be can just swing open or you know people can just cross uh, come in front of you or something like that so it's always good to be on on alert and look out so here i'm gonna be turning left there's a bicycle lane on my left so i check my mirror do a quick shoulder check on the left and then let's say the examiner has said take the first street on the right so put on my right signal slow down nicely there's a blind spot so i take it easy go up a little bit there's no one so i turn so once i turn here i notice the speed limit is 40 kilometers per hour so i need to be a little bit careful that i don't go over the limit then here let's say the examiner asked me to do a u-turn at this roundabout so put on my right my right signal check my right hand side and inside the roundabout there is no one so i can enter the roundabout going all the way around once i'm about to exit put on a left signal and then exit so i'm back into that 40 kilometers an hour street Let's say the examiner has asked me to take the first street on the right. So put on my right signal, check my right side mirror. And then I turn, and then the examiner, let's say they've asked me to take the first left. So indicating left, check my left side mirror, and then I turn left. And then here, let's say the examiner has asked me to pull over on the left. So I pull over on the left. Then I stop the car, handbrake on, park, and then wait for the next instructions. So usually here the examiner might want you to do some maneuvers, for example, a 3.10 or a reversing in a straight line. Um, so I'm just going to do a, a straight line reverse and then do a 3.10. So first thing first, put the car in reverse, check my mirrors, show that check. And then I see there is a car coming, so I'm just going to wait. So it's going, it, it passed me, so do another all around observation. Then look behind while I'm reversing. So sometimes you are even allowed to, do, to remove one hand and do this, so that's fine. And then usually the examiner will say that's fine you can stop something along those lines so i'm just gonna move forward a little bit keep my left signal on so now at this point i'm going to do a turn around maneuver so first thing first i put on my right signal check my left hand side blind spot check on my mirrors look ahead check my right side mirror look over my right shoulder and then I'm going to use the hand over hand steering technique to turn the car. Um, once I'm close enough, I can do something like this. Then check both ways, check there. Don't forget to look behind physically and then use your mirrors. Once you are close enough to the cab, again, you could do something like this. Indicate right. Also check, change your gear to drive. Usually change your gear to drive first and then there's no one coming so we can go Now it's important that if you're not comfortable doing uh, a 3.10 in narrow streets like that one It's better to do a 5.10 Let's say the examiner has asked me to turn right so checking There's no one we can go 
and the examiner has asked me to take the first street on the left so I indicate left checking there's a little bit of a blind spot cars parked on the side so I take it easy then once I turn I remember there is a sign there on the left which says 40 kilometers per hour let's say the examiner has asked me to turn left at this roundabout so I'm gonna indicate check my left side mirror for any cyclist check my right hand side check inside as well that car is indicating so making sure they are not doing a u-turn of some sort and then once I turn into the new street, there is a speed limit. It says 50 kilometers per hour. So roundabout turning right. So third exit, checking my right hand side. That car has a right indicator on, so I wait. Once they go, I can go. Once I'm about to exit, I put on my left signal and then come off of the roundabout. Once I'm in this new street, I didn't see a speed limit, or maybe I missed it. So I'm just gonna assume it's 50. It's actually 50, by the way. Then here I'm gonna go left. So indicating left, check my left side mirror, my rear view mirror as well. And then stop nicely behind the line. So waiting for the light to change. Then once it's changed, scan through the intersection. Then I turn left. So once I turn left, the speed limit is 50 kilometers per hour. Checking my rear view mirror. It's important to use your mirrors. Also always look ahead, see what's coming up. Make sure I, you are not making sure that I'm not too close to the cars on my left. Let's say the examiner has asked me to take the to turn right at the traffic lights. So when I'm close enough, put on my right indicator, check my right side mirror. It's, it's green light, so I can go. It did change to amber when I was halfway through, but that's fine. So here the car has stopped in the middle. So I wait, I stop, and then I check my rear view mirror as well. So always anticipate, just look out. Um, and then I tend into this street. The speed limit here is 50. Then also I see it's a little bit busy. So just need to look around, see what's coming up. The traffic light has changed to to Ember, so slow down, check my mirror. Once I stop, stop nicely behind the line, keeping my hands on the steering wheel because I'm driving an automatic car. Once it's green, scan through the intersection, and then we go. Now it's starting to rain, so I'm just gonna quickly wipe the windscreen. I noticed a speed limit of 40 kilometers per hour as well because of the roadworks. Then the examiner has asked me to go right, so turn on my right blinker, check my right side mirror, check my rear view mirror as well. So it's green light. It looks The intersection looks a little bit different, so I need to take care. Now, there is a car also waiting to turn right, but the green light is just green. So in this situation, I'm actually just gonna wait behind the line because we don't want to have two cars in the middle of the intersection. Because when that turns to red, then you can imagine if I was there, see that car there is kind of stuck. So always waiting behind the line if there is already another car there. So when it's raining, you need to make sure that you keep the windscreen clear. So keep wiping. If it keeps raining, you might need to, to use the one down, which kind of like continuous loop. So the light is still red. 
if I went turns to green, hope I don't think I'll get a green light. So when it turns to green, I'm just gonna go in the middle and wait in the center. But I need to be careful not to go too far because otherwise I'll be blocking that, that driver. There's a row of cars coming. I think after this red car I can go. It's nice and safe. Do my turn. So there is a roundabout coming up. If the examiner hasn't said anything, I need to continue going straight. So I check my right hand side and also check inside the roundabout. There's no one. Once I'm about to exit, put on my left indicator and then exit. It's important that when you're doing a test that you don't miss things like that because that roundabout is a little bit, it's a bit hidden so it can be a little bit hard to see. Keep clear sign but there is enough space in front so that's fine let's say the examiner has asked me to go right check my rear my right side mirror my rear view mirror and then stop nicely behind the line so when you stopped here i just keep checking because it gives me an idea of what's going on and if it's if it's busy or if if there is anyone blocking the street or something like that keep listening for ambulance and stuff like that keep an eye on, on the traffic lights as well because when that goes to green i have to turn there's also this pedestrian standing from the other side Side 10, 10 of the indicator, check my rear view mirror as well. Usually the indicator will go off by itself. So if it's not going off by itself, probably I'm not steering properly. Sometimes it doesn't go off. If it doesn't go off, then you can always just switch it off manually. Now at this point, I'm starting to at this point i haven't made any critical driving error so or maybe any minor error i don't think i've made too many errors but i you probably need to be the test is not over until you get back to the center so still be careful just look out for anything that could confuse you or something like that so keep moving let's say the examiner has asked, asked me to change lane so I check my mirror, signal, check my mirror again, shot that check on the left, and then move the car. And let's say the examiner has asked me to take the next left. So check my rear view mirror, check my left side mirror, indicate left, slow down nicely to a nice turning speed, and then take the turn. Now, I just went straight into this right lane. That's fine, you can do that. Then once I turn, check my rear view mirror. And then let's say the examiner has asked me to take the next right. So I see the green light, no green arrow, indicate, check my rear view mirror, check my right side mirror. So I'm just gonna go again, wait in the center, wait for those two cars to pass. Once they pass, then I can complete my turn. Then once I turn into this new street, I don't see any speed limit. So I'm just gonna assume the speed limit is 50.
make sure my rod position is good that car just indicated suddenly so and I check my rear view mirror as well okay so there is a sign it's 50 Keep an eye on, uh, on any cars that might be coming out of those driveways. The turning left, so indicate left, check my left side mirror. There's a car, so I wait for them. Once they go, I can go. And then let's say the examiner has asked me to take the, the right turn here. So I can indicate, check my mirrors. Now there is a blind spot there, so it's really hard to see. So now what you do here, you kind of like clip forward a little bit. I don't know if you noticed in the video there, that driver actually did indicate that they were turning into, into my street. So that's a little bit, if I had gone, that, that would have been a problem. Let's say the examiner has asked me to take the first street on the right. So as I come close enough, put on my right indicator, also get nicely close to the right hand side, but not too much. There's no one coming, so I can do my turn. Then here I notice this, that there's a bridge, but the gap is very tight. So just slowing down will be a good idea. Then here I'm gonna go right. So check my rear view mirror, check my right side mirror looking there's no one coming so i can actually turn cars parked on the side so i can move a little bit to the middle but not too much i just need to leave about a door length once i pass the cars come back to the left the speed is 50 so i just need to be careful that I don't exceed the speed limit. And there's a bend, so I slow down to like 30. Let's say the examiner has asked me to turn left at the traffic lights. So I need to be careful not to apply my indicator too early because there is a street there. So if I do, I will be confusing other drivers. Check my mirrors. and then stop nicely to uh, behind the line. So at this point, usually around 25 minutes, 30 min 20 minutes, 25 minutes, the examiner will be going back to the center. So just need to be careful that you don't make any mistake um, on the way back because if you've done well in the test, you don't want to fail in that last five minutes. So just keep an eye on the traffic lights. Don't get too excited. Just wait until you've parked the car inside the center and then you walk up you, and then you go in the office with the examiner so that they tell you how you went. Or maybe they, they call it a debrief area. So sometimes they may do it even outside so it depends it changes every time so i've turned into this new street um and i not i noticed that it's two lanes so it's actually 60. um checking my mirrors there's a blind spot there's a traffic light so i need to slow down because there there are cars the light the lights just changed from red to green. Looking around at intersections like that one. Then once you're driving around here, just keep an eye on your mirrors. Let's say the examiner has asked me to change into the right hand side lane. Now I need to be careful because there's a traffic light. I need to do it before I get to the traffic light. 
If I cannot do it before the traffic lights, then I will have to wait until after the traffic lights. Let's say the examiner has asked me to change back into the left lane, so put on my left signal, mirrors, shoulder check, move the car. Let's say the examiner has asked me to take the slip lane on the left, so I put on my left signal, check my rear view mirror, check my left side mirror, then I can turn into the slip lane. Once I'm in the slip lane, I need to look for any oncoming traffic. So looking, there's no one, so I can go. There's a car here coming out of the driveway, so I need to be careful. There's a traffic light coming up, so I need to slow down. Put my foot on the brake, check my rear view mirror, make sure that I'm not too close to the car in front of me. Once the light change, we can start moving, but I need to scan through this intersection, so check in both ways. Make sure no one is running red light, or if there is no ambulance, I can increase my speed. So let's say the examiner has asked me to turn uh, left at the next traffic lights. So pass this street, then once I pass it, put on my left indicator, check my mirrors, slow down enough to a nice turning speed, and then we can turn. Now at that point, um, the test is probably over. So, I mean, that means the driving test is over, so they normally return back to the center, okay? So let's say the examiner has asked me to do a U-turn at this roundabout. So I put on my right indicator. Come here. So there's a lot of cars coming out of there. They are going left, so I can actually enter the roundabout. To my nice loop. So the reason I came to this point is actually because there was no parking there. So um, when I parked here before there was parking, but now there was no parking, so that's fine. Um, all right. So let's say the examiner has asked me to turn left. So I put on my left indicator, get into the left-hand side lane. Then I stop nicely behind the line. So at the moment, I'm waiting for that light to change. So this traffic light sometimes confuses a lot of people because it, it, sometimes it gives you a green light. It, give, it goes to green, but the red arrow stays on. So you just need to be careful that if the red arrow stays on, you have to wait behind the line. A lot of people fell here because when the light change, they go and then they fail to realize that the red arrow is still on. So I'm just going to wait and see what's going to happen. I think the red arrow might stay on because there is a pedestrian and exactly that's what happened. When you turn here also, it's better to go into the right lane because sometimes there are cars parked in the left lane. And then usually the examiner wants you to go right at the next traffic lights anyway. So. Once you turn, get into the right lane. Let's say the examiner has asked me to turn right at these traffic lights. So I put on my right indicator, slow down to a nice speed, check my rear view mirror. Make sure I'm not too close to the, the car in front.
So the light has changed to green, but there is no green arrow. So I'm gonna move in the center because I'm the first car. And then just wait in the center. So I'm waiting for a nice safe gap. And then I turn. Then I'm just gonna park on the left, check my rear view mirror, do a quick shoulder check on the left. Then I can pull over on the left. Apply the handbrake, put in park, and then relax. All right, guys, um, I hope that was useful. So if you are doing a driving test, it doesn't matter where you are, I hope you can just use the same um, the same ideas pretty much you know, just watch out for your roundabouts watch out for your lane changes um, and yeah if you're doing a test soon I wish you the best of luck also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification bell and if you've enjoyed watching this video you can also give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment down below all right if you're doing a test soon I wish you the best of luck see you next time